We have new analysis tools that allow us to very accurately predict the behavior of these shells. It's always increasing technology. Absolutely. Hard to keep in front of it. I know it is. You're doing a great job. Thanks so much. Because composite data is new. Welcome back everyone, Energy Fabricator here. Today we're looking at the Silicon Labs Sensor Puck. I got this in a Lucky Dip competition at the Electronics Expo, which is the Electronics Design and Assembly Expo, which is held in Melbourne every two years and in Sydney every other year. So let's open up this box here and see what's inside the package. As you can see, we've got an anti-static bag here, which has the sensor inside. And we've also got a nice little instruction card here which tells us how to get started with our sensor puck and a nice little logo on the other side of the card there. So let's open up the bag here and take a look at the sensor itself. So that's the top face of the sensor puck right there and as you can see we've got a relative humidity and temperature sensor over here and we've got a biometric sensor over here to monitor heart rate uh, we've got the on and off switch over here and we've got the debug header pins on the side here underneath we've got four rubber feet and we've also got a CR2032 battery which powers the EFM32 Gecko microcontroller which is on board this little baby the sensor puck also contains a Bluetooth low energy module on board which will um, broadcast all of the sensor data to mobile devices via the sensor puck application. Now I've already downloaded the application and that's running right now. It's waiting for this module to be turned on. It's telling me to turn on the sensor puck. If we turn the sensor puck on, you can see the little red light come on there. Now it's flashing green. The application is running live. So here we can see the temperature at 20.8 degrees Celsius, the ambient light at 100 lux, we've got a UV index of zero because we're indoors and we've got a relative humidity of 51.5 percent. The battery is in good condition and the heart rate is idle but if I put my finger on the sensor you can see that it's acquiring my heart rate and it's at 70 beats per minute 73, 71 in that range. As soon as I take my finger off it'll run back to idle. Now if I put my finger over the relative humidity and temperature sensor we should see not only the temperature go up but the relative humidity should also go up from the um, moisture in my finger. As you can see we're already up to over 23 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity has gone up to 75 percent and climbing and so is the temperature. It's nearly up to 24 degrees Celsius now and that should just keep climbing steadily until it reaches its maximum. If I take my finger off we should see that drop down again. So all in all, not a bad little sensor module. I'd give that a thumbs up. We can also check the ambient light because I've got this little LED torch here and that's gone up to over 27,000, 30,000 lux. So you can see if we get further and further away that should just go down a bit. So we're down to 27, 25,000, 24,000. If we go a bit further away, it's gone down to about 7,000, 6,000. If we turn it off on a bit of an angle, it should reduce even further. So we're down to 2,400 lux. there we go about 750 lux 800 lux there and if we take the LED torch away we should go back to about 50 lux 
Now this application can also monitor a number of sensors so if you had them all turned on at the same time you could just flick between different sensors by giving them different names and just um, selecting them on this menu here and then you go back to the, um, the main screen here to see the actual data. Now the sensor puck can be programmed via the EFM32 development kit and a debug cable. We just need to plug the debug cable into this header here, jump straight onto the Simplicity Studio and you'd have access to a whole bunch of um, sample code and you'd be up and programming with this thing in no time. Um, unfortunately I don't have the EMF32 development kit or a debug cable so um, we won't be going that far into it but it definitely seems like a nice little package if you want to know more about this and other products by Silicon Labs go to www.silabs.com and check it out for yourself until then I'm just going to keep playing around with this module and go and maybe check the ambient light at various benches in my workshop here and um, just generally have a bit of a play with it. Uh, I might try and get a hold of the EFM32 development kit just so that I can see what this thing's capable of. A pretty cool little sensor module to play with. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave comments.